Okay, I know this is not my normal content on my channel, but I have bought four of these Ampere Time 12 volt, 200 amp hour batteries. And when I was shopping for these, I really wanted to know what was inside of these. We're gonna take a look inside. Um, Will Prouse uh, took apart a similar Ampere Time battery. I'm gonna refer you to his video on that for all the details that I'm not gonna get into in this video. I just wanted to put out a video that showed what's inside the Ampere Time 12 volt, 200 amp hour battery. This is not the plus version. They make two versions of this battery, the 12 volt, 200 amp and the 12 volt, 200 plus. The difference is this one has a 100 amp rated BMS. The BMS electronics, the battery management system electronics inside here can only pass 100 amps. The plus version of this battery, which is more expensive, can pass 200 amps through the BMS. So that's the difference between this one and the plus. Before we take a look inside, just letting you know, this is what comes in the package. This battery came packaged very well, heavy cardboard box, lots of that good high density foam, no issues with the packaging, no damage to it when I received it, and it comes with this. So in here you get extra terminal bolts. So there's extra terminal bolts and then they give you these insulating caps for the terminal bolts. The warranty, five year battery warranty. Start date, Amazon order ID. Take a little time to leave us a friendly review on Amazon and get a free gift worth $99.99 by contacting us. I still haven't done this, but I plan on doing this, but I can't do it with this battery because I opened it and I, I'm sure I just totally blew away the warranty on this. I thought, I'll just take this lid off and then I get access to it. No, so I didn't get access to it through the lid. These holes are capped, so there is no air passage through here at all. At first I thought there was, but I don't see any air passage. Maybe, maybe a little, nope, nope, that was just a piece of dust. No, there, there's no openings in this at all into the inside. So then I took this tool, this tool did not work. It was not the right tool for the job. I just used this and I went like this, like this, like this and I started working this lid off. That's how I did that. Just some, some people like to know that. There are parts of the sealant that don't seem to really contact anything, but it seems like good enough sealant to where it kind of makes an O-ring of sorts. And then in the spots where it does connect with the top, it did glue the top on. So. I'm not dissatisfied with the way that this was sealed. I'm actually glad I was able to relatively non-destructively take the lid off. To me, it makes this more serviceable. For cabling, they have a single six gauge, 200 degree uh, silicone insulated cable. And then on the negative terminal, it's dual eight gauge, 200 degree silicone insulated cable. So if the BMS is working properly, only 100 amps is ever gonna be allowed to move through this wire. And while I do this, I'll just explain that this is my battery. I was not given this battery to review. This is a plastic Knipex pliers, by the way, so I'm not gonna go digging around in here with anything metal. And uh, so this is my battery. I purchased it, it was not given to me by Ampere Time or anybody to review. And I'm sure that I am destroying the warranty on it, but I just, I wanted to see what is in here. I was a little bit surprised at how much empty space there is around here. There's a lot of wasted space in here. And I'm almost tempted to actually remove the cells and build them into a different case. I'm 
but I probably won't do that. What I probably will do is just put this back together. I'll use capped on tape to put everything back together and then I'll just use it this way. And the charger that I use is the Victron Blue Smart 12 volt 30 amp. So that was the charger I used. It charged up just fine. I don't have all the fancy equipment to do a capacity test. So I'm not going to be doing a capacity test. We're gonna to try to find the label on the BMS. It's a little difficult to get at. The BMS is over on this side. I'm just trying to get a good look at the cells, I'm trying to figure out who manufactured the cells. And I'm all right, hopefully we can see that. I'm gonna take a picture of it with my cell phone and I will put that picture in the video here. In editing, I took some time to try to identify these cells and I, I can't, I couldn't figure it out. I need to see the shape of these terminals. So those are M6 bolts. Those are the bolts right there. Let's take this one. Oh, come on now. I did not want to do this. Okay. So that is the shape of the terminal. I don't think that's lichen. This is my understanding of this stuff is, is that that's lichen. And I don't think that's lichen. I don't think it's Eve or ETC or cattle. So these are two millimeters thick. If anybody knows whether or not these are deficient, please leave a comment. So this would be for 100 amps. Eight Newton meters. All right. I hate this. Okay, that's eight. Rip those out. So I went to eight Newton meters on those. You know what I could do is I could actually check one here. Let's see here. Okay, man. That seems like, all right, let's go to, let's go to 10. Yep, I'm not going any more than 10. All right. Jeez. Feels like, that one feels like, it makes me so nervous. No, nope, I'm not going any more on that one. That's it, that's it. This might be a temperature sensor right here. The glue is a little loose. It's not really making contact with that, but it's at least it's on the cell and not stuffed inside of the BMS. Is that whole piece gonna come out for me? I think it is. The BMS, all right. Okay, I'm just gonna try to read what I see on the BMS. I see H. Is that an I or an L? I can't tell. It looks like HLZT4. So that'd be probably four cells. So 4S, 100 amp, B01-0. I can't make out the next number. Then a dash, then a 284, then a dash 5. That's what's in there. Okay, so that's the BMS. Okay, so that's gonna conclude the teardown. Um, I don't have everything set up to do a capacity test. I'm not gonna test the low temperature cutoff. It's Thanksgiving day, we've got plans. I wanted to get this video out today. I just wanted to add to the pool of knowledge on these batteries so that people know what they're getting when they go on Amazon and buy these batteries. 
I'm not an expert enough to be able to tell you, yeah, you should go buy this or no, you shouldn't go buy this. I'm just giving you the information. I hope that people that know more about these things will comment in the description of this video. For my sake and others who are thinking about buying the Ampere Time, they kind of know what they're getting, what's inside of this thing, what's the quality like, what's the build like. I hope that I helped. All right, everybody, have a happy Thanksgiving and thank you for watching.